Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, and now we're going to continue on in the uh, Victory Road! And of course we have a random encounter, first thing we do. Is Victory Road too tough? No, it isn't really too tough at all. Yagla Gregory, let's see what you have. You have a Mr. Mime, which is actually pretty interesting. But uh, Mr. Mime doesn't really have the grace of physical defenses like any psychic Pokemon has in, the, in this game. So I'm just going to go for a turn, it barely lives, and it's going to double slap me. Well, it isn't that worse as. It isn't like that guy in the last episode that said, I'll whip you! And this Miss Mime just bitch slaps me. Or something. It's going to real pack that Miss Mime and it's going to be knocked out. Not die, knocked out. Not killed, knocked out. Knocked out. Agility! No, I don't really think so because Fear Me is already very fast. Well done! Well done! Uh. Let me see. Let's have Homer up in front. Yes, so Homer can kick some ass now. Here you can grab TM07 Hail and here you can find a random random encounter. Uh so let's sound up Let's head up these steps and here we have a trainer! A ruins of a child prodigy. Prodigy. Okay, as I said before, like many times throughout this adventure, you don't have to fight every one of the trainers, but I just recommend it because it will give you the most experience and and they are going to be annoying like that, you sleep harder. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that uh, Homer had a chest to bury on it. So now Homer, get a crit or a parahax, that would be awesome. You get neither. <laughs> you are being an idiot and using head bomb, you didn't try to put me to, sl put me to sleep. So you're an idiot for not using Executor right like should be used. See, Electrode. It's very fast, but I think Homer can handle this one if it doesn't go BOOM! Which I hopefully doesn't do, but I have Earthquake. And it's going to go for a Spark, which Homer can take like a monster and eat up that for breakfast. And Electrode is just going to die to an Earthquake. So he's just going to die. And now it's going to bring a sense flash, which finally Arashi can come in and kick some ass. Because Arashi didn't get to a kick any ass last episode. So I'm just going to go for a surf, and that will probably knock out sense flash one hit. Which it does, because sense flash doesn't really have the grace of the uh, special offense in the world. But now it's going to bring in a Cloyster, which also doesn't really have the greatest special defense in the world. But this one has excellent physical defense. And uh, because none of my attacks is really going to work on it, I mean, Surf is going to do a little bit of damage, but not too much. So I bring in Flame and go for a Flamethrower, and Cloyster dies. Because of his not too good special defense. And now it's going to bring in an Arcanine! And for that I'm going to bring in Arashi again to kick some ass. So yeah, Arcanine comes out and it gets off an Intimidate on me, but it doesn't really matter because I had Surf and that's a special move. But I'm not sure if this Surf will take out Arcanine because Arcanine is pretty bulky. And I get a freaking crit! I don't know if that won't matter. I'm not com I'm not 100% sure. The rumors were true. Yes, they were. They were true that I kick Nubas in this victory road. Maybe not Nubas, but I kick some ass. So yeah, now we have to push this boulder around like this. We have to push this boulder and get a random encounter, of course. <laughs> There's a long way to push this boulder, right over here. Push it down, and then push it to the left. Push, push, push. And of course the repels effect where else I'm just going to put down another one. Because I don't want to run into like Zubats or Machops or Judiths in here. Because we can run into those Pokemon in here. 
and uh, push that button with that boulder. If you can't get through here, you can go. If you if you can get through here, you can get to the elite four. Whoa! I didn't know that. Yeah, let's see. Charmeleon. Homer is out, and Homer is just going to go for an earthquake, and Charmeleon is going to be annoying, and you smoke three. And earthquake hits, and that is probably going to take out Charmeleon. Yeah, it's going to take out Charmeleon without a doubt. And Charmeleon goes down. And here comes the left grass, and for that, I'm uh, going to bring kicking. Because kicking has Brick Break and Rock Slide, and both of them are perfect against Lapras. You'll be hating Lapras very soon, I promise you. Uh, let's go to go for a Rock Slide to get the flinch, I guess, but I don't get the flinch, but it just goes for a Rain Dance. And the Lapras doesn't really have any ability that I can push it up, like. I think it has War Absorbance ability. I'm not sure, but that rain dust isn't going to help it because our comes a Licky Tongue, and we are all we all know that Licky Tongue is famous for its uh, water moves. Uh, just going to go for a brick break, and then probably going to yeah knock it up, knock out the uh, Licky Tongue in one hit. So I feed it this guy Dawson. No! Unbelievable! Yeah, unbelievable that he used Rain Dash with Labrath that it, it didn't help you. Now here was the place that in red, blue, and yellow that the uh, Moltres was. And why didn't I count out this battle? I thought I actually would was, was, was uh, careful when I edited this. When I... Uh, I'm just going to use one of these fancy potions because I'll never... I don't think I'll nev ever use them. I'll so I'll just use them now because they only restore 20 HP and it's like only a tenth of Homer's HP. So yeah, I'll just use them up to get him at pretty nice health. So yeah, here in the original game Moltres was here. Uh, in red, blue, yellow. So yeah, here you can grab TM50, which is overheat, which is an extremely powerful fire attack, but uh, it sharply lowers your special attack after you use this. So it's pretty much as blast burn. You just use it, and then you are out of there. So yeah, I actually lost some HP in that battle that I had with some Pokemon. So I'm just going to use these super potions because I'm, I don't think I'm going to use them at uh, some other point in the game. Here we have a trainer, cool trainer Alexa, she has five Pokemon and she has a Clefairy! Do I really have to, to kill a Clefairy? <laughs> that makes me sad. Oh, so I'm just going to re break that and it's going to be knocked out, not die. Because I hate killing Clefairies. It just fainted. Ooh, but Jigglypuff! Jigglypuff can die, oh yeah. Then you're just going to break break that, and it's going to die. Yes, dies. And Jigglypuff goes down, and here comes a Persian. So it seems like this girl is all about these normal type Pokemon. So, Persian goes for a payday, which does like nothing to Homer. And thank you for the money. Because when you use Payday, some money will scatter all around and you pick them up after a battle. It's not too much, but it is money, and money are always money. And Homer goes to level 47! Yay! Now she's going to bring a Dugon, which isn't a normal type Pokemon. So I'm just going to bring Kicking for that. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go for a Brick Break because it's super effective. And we'll do a lot of damage to Dugon. Even one hit kill! Awesome. Nice work, Kicking. And Kicking goes to level 47. And now she's got to bring in a Shansi, which. Everybody knows Shansi, or at least everyone knows Blissey. Everyone knows Shansi too. Because. 
it's extremely rare in the Safari Zone. It's like 1% chance of finding one. And chance has amazing HP and special defense. So hit it on the physical side because it has non existing physical defense at all. Oh, so strong! Okay. Yeah. Let's head along. But first, uh, let's put Tree Head up in front because Tree Head is on level 46. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, random encounter, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.